Hello and welcome to my Sampley2 Pro X video blog. Today we will have a short look to the new export functionality and one little small thing that isn't not very good announced in the marketing but it is very helpful. And with this second thing we will start now. Uh, this new functionality is an additional object info for example, you see here in this object that the loudness is reduced by 0.6 dB. Normally you have to go with your mouse cursor to here and then you see in the info this reduction or increasement of the volume. So that is very helpful because you see relatively fast perhaps some modification to the loudness and the different objects you have made. So that's very helpful. But now let's go to the export functionality. You can call by uh, file and then export. But I use normally control and E and then I have directly this export. And I've also started to make my own presets. And normally I use in this project this one, newborn babe. I've selected it and you have seen it changed directly to my settings. We have a short go through. We can here in the first uh, section select the folder where it should go. I have selected here a user defined folder but you can use also the project folder or some other often used folder or you can say I want to choose it later when the saving started. And you can also do the same with the file name itself. You can set a custom file name for your exported file. And this is then always used. Or you can say here the default name should be used. That would be then the file name of the project only. And you can make it up and down here. So, And you can also choose here the routing, the master or all available outputs and also the track or only the tracks that not unmuted or all objects or something else. So you have here different options what you can choose. You can choose uh, the format MP dry or wave or something like this and the sample rate uh, and uh, stereo mono and you can set also here that's what should happen after the project. In this case, I just only want to have a MP3 file that I can upload then to a special place of my homepage. And then I can stream it on different devices, on a PC with special loudspeakers, on the tablet and so on. And so I can hear very easily my song on different devices. So I said only exporting and it done this here on this little window that is shown on the other monitor. So in this case I have exported to folder D and here we find this file that I have just exported. Another helpful preset is for example I have here a track with vocals but I have edited it with Melodyne to skip out some wrong <laughs> scores and so on. But sometimes it is uh, really helpful to save this track perhaps to avoid that you have problems by changing the version of Samplitude by itself or some other problems that can happen. And so I simply select this as a solo track and press also again Control E and then I choose here another preset that I have done solo track to wave and so here you can say see this I have choose it in this case that the wave should go directly into the project folder and I want to choose uh, the file name before it being saved and the routing is here the master and uh, all tracks that can be heard. So this uh, is in the case only the solo track I have selected. And in this case I wanted to have it in the best quality in, in as WAV file and in 24-bit and stereo. Yeah, I don't want to have the master effects 
and also not the track effects so that I have the, pu the pure vocals. But uh, Melodyne is nevertheless active and so I have the corrected track within it. So and then I press export and I can choose the name and then it will be saved. It's already done. And I can use it later. I can import it here or can replace this whatever I want. Yeah, I think this is a very helpful functionality. This makes the work very much more easier and you can create different presets that you want to use and you have only to select this one and that makes your work much more easier. Okay, that was all for today. Bye bye.